Let's talk about the most powerful tool in the dog training game. And we're talking the e-collar. The e-collar is such a powerful tool. I like to put it as this, this, this is a digital leash. But there absolutely is a way that you have to use this tool because if you use it wrong, the dog's not gonna get it. You might hurt the dog, but there's a way that you're supposed to use an e-collar. And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. The e-collar that I highly recommend is the Envirox K9 Ultra. This collar is the stuff. If you're in the market for an e-collar, this is the one that I will highly recommend. The Envirox is a top-notch e-collar. If you're in the market, this is the collar you need to be getting. A great thing too about this e-collar is that it's veteran owned. So that means with purchase one of these, you get to support a veteran. And that's a little bit more than a thank you. We're also talking that the e-collar is 100% waterproof. What does that mean? Your dog can go for a good old swim. And if your dog is anything like my dogs, they love to swim. So we're talking being safe with your dog no matter the terrain, no matter the weather. Another benefit, this thing goes up to three fourths of a mile. Yeah, that's a long distance from your dog, which is great in those scenarios when your dog takes off and you cannot see them. Because just with a little tap of a button, boom, they can feel you from three fourths of a mile. Now the butter to the toast. Let's get into how we use this. Alrighty, the first steps to introducing your dog to the e-collar. Now we're gonna talk about the level at which your dog will respond to. This varies for every single dog out there. Her, usually Malinois, Dutch Shepherds, all the ones that kind of have that high drive, they tend to be very low. They can be all over the place. I've trained dogs that are as big as could be and they respond to like a two or three. And I've had Chihuahuas that respond to about a 70. Now Echo here, we're gonna find her base level here. It's very very subtle too. Sometimes an eye will twitch or sometimes the tail will go from a fast moving to stopping. So it's very subtle and you gotta watch it. Or the mouth will shut. So for her, she's kind of panting. I'm gonna go. So she blinked. It's very subtle. You probably couldn't see that at all, but she blinked from my angle that I'm looking at her. So we are going to get her accustomed to the e-collar, meaning she understands what it means. We're gonna start with the short leash here. I have a retractable as well. I like to use that with training. So there are so many ways to train with the e-collar. The way that I like to, and the way that I teach my clients is very black and white. But like I said, there are many ways to train this. So as soon as I say come, I'm gonna to start to tap this button nonstop till I see her make the decision to come to me. As soon as I see that, button stops. That's why I say it's nice to have a little leash like this. That way you can kind of keep her in a proximity of how close you want her to be. Alongside your trusty leash, you should also have a little treat bag if you see here that I have. This is to be able to give that reward for every time that the dog comes to me. So they start to be conditioned that, oh, every time I come to you, it's a good thing. Also, come or here is not come to me and walk away. Come is come to me and stay in a general area that I like. I'm gonna go echo here. I tap the button there. It only took her one tap. That's all I needed for her. She's kind of walking away. Again, I tapped it there to kind of keep her focused on me. I'm gonna change my direction here. Good girl. So she's kind of sensitive. Like I said, you kind of saw her go like that. This varies for every dog. Like I explained, every dog is different. So this is why I said it's fun to have the treats around because this keeps her with you. She's also worked quite a bit with me, so she understands the e-collar. This is not her first rodeo with this bad boy. Here, right there, I tapped it again. Every time I say the word, I tap that button. So she's doing really well with staying with me here. Good. I tapped it there again. She's doing really well with staying with me. This is come. This is what it is. It's, it's kind of like healing but healing is a lot more tighter. I like to keep my sessions about 10 to 15 minutes, especially when we're in Arizona and it's 115 degrees out. As a dog trainer, I will always tell people, do not use retractable leashes. They are the worst thing, but they are amazing for training. But I will never have this, my 100 pound German Shepherd on a leash like this ever. So now we're gonna graduate to some treats. And all puppies love treats, all dogs love treats. So this is a great way to be able to teach cum with the e-collar. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take this little treat right here and I'm gonna throw it. She's gonna go find it. Here. She's on her way. So I'm gonna throw the treat. Here. She's on her way. Good girl. So like I said, she understands the e-collar very well because we've worked with her. So that refers now back to the black and white statement that I said. I don't need for her, I don't need to tap it constantly until she comes to me. And she's been trained where she understands this now, it is to one tap for her. But if she was brand new to this, I would say 
here. And the second that I said that word here, I would start to tap this button nonstop until I see her make the decision to come to me. As soon as I see that decision, that button stops. So now you see where the retractable leash could come into this. The leash will allow her to be at a distance from me and that way I can guide her because most dogs, when you put this on the e-collar and they have no idea what it is, they're gonna freak out a little bit. So that's why you get them to a custom understanding what this button is. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and follow the channel. If you're wanting to pick up an Envirox collar, go ahead and hit the link in the description. We'll see you in the next one. Fetch.